I welcome you back to this special shamanic space here. Ayla is in front of you, and the spirits are here. And today, I want to tell you more about the peculiarities of the ancient shamanic culture. A shaman is someone who is born to help people, and modern people face such situations as karmic situations. What are they? You will ask. I will gladly explain this to you. Yes, the soul is born on the earth not once, but many times, and we had some events in each life. These events have remained in our memory and have shaped our character traits or recurring situations. Thus, we find ourselves in a situation. Let me give you an example. My beautiful student noticed a very interesting fact. She noticed that she had constant problems with money. She always had these problems no matter what she did. She tried to take loans, but the business did not develop and the debt increased. She tried to work for a boss, but it didn't work out. One company closed, followed by another. Do you notice something weird happening? She tried to do everything herself. And again, the income was so small that she constantly lost money and could not save it or keep it in her hands. This repeated far too often, and no one could help. It turned out that for many years, she couldn't solve the situation in any way. What does a shaman do? I call on the higher spirits, the most powerful, who have kept the northern tradition's shamanic tradition unchanged. Civilizations were destroyed, knowledge was lost, and shamanic knowledge was preserved by the spirits as they lived for millions of years. These spirits helped me in karmic diagnostics. So, what did I see? I saw many mistakes were made in many past lives. There was resentment towards money. I saw how the student regretted giving money to poor people in one of her lives. But there was a famine, and people came to her because she was a merchant. But a few days later, her relatives went to the city's theater, and there was a riot. Hungry people came to the city to ask for help from the government. In the stampede, her loved ones died. Can you imagine what the soul went through? It was a nightmare. It was very painful. She, of course, connected these moments. I did not help the poor people. My children died. Scary. In that life, it ended sadly. It was filled with alcoholism, death, and giving away her wealth. But nevertheless, the reaction was fixed. Money is bad. And in this life, this thought sits so deep inside that it cannot be discovered by a psychologist and cannot be found by any other means. It can't be seen. It comes from a past life. But it is precisely this thought that repels all opportunities to accumulate money. So, of course, my recommendation after karmic diagnostics was to work with the situation on a karmic level. I know that you are now wondering whether all this has been resolved. It was resolved. She went through all the recommended sessions. We returned to the past life and eventually removed this. That's it. Now, her beloved man gives her gifts, she has a good job, and she has a new, very beautifully decorated apartment. Of course, money began accumulating. We are talking about karmic diagnostics. Representatives of northern shamanism have the ability to work with such spirits that can show you deep situations of the past. Think about what situations in your life you have been solving in different ways, but are still not solved. This means that the reason lies somewhere beyond our perception. First, it could be past lives. Second is the karma of the family. These may be things that we will not see, but it is given to the shaman to see them. So when undergoing such diagnostics, please listen carefully to what the shaman says. Each word comes from there, from the reason for your situation. Please write it down. 
Maybe even show the shaman whether you understood everything and wrote it down correctly. If we're now talking about such important things, and you've already begun to understand, these situations are repeating for me. <gasps> this means that you are exactly the person who can stop this chain of events. This means that the right time has come, and you found the point where fate can change. This means that your prayers have been heard by the spirits of your bloodline and your guardian angels. And one last thing remains. You're watching this video, and you hear such important things. Now, please, open the schedule and register for the session. The seminar, sign up, and contact me so I can start looking into your situation and I can begin sending you spirits, advice, and a specific meeting point for you, either online or offline, whichever you prefer. I will be glad to help you. I really want people to stop suffering for decades. Let's do it with love. Mm -hmm.